Good morning. This is second grader Mustafa from Ms. Lockham's class. Welcome to Mr. Strau's morning message for today. Take it away, Mr. Strau. Thanks, Mustafa. Good morning, COA students and staff. It's Monday, December 11th, 2017, and we're kicking off our 17th week of school. I'm Mr. Strau with today's morning message. Uh, the the countdown, countdown continues. continues. The countdown continues to our next school holiday. We now have only two weeks to go until it's Christmas vacation, where you get two full weeks off. <laughs> Only two weeks. Are you getting excited? Yeah, me too. Hi, this is Eric from the COA Student Leadership Team to remind you that the Six Flags Read to Succeed program continues here at COA. Do you want to win a free admission ticket to Six Flags Discovery Kingdom for next summer? It's really easy to do. All you have to do is get a Six Flags Read to Succeed reading log from your teachers. Read for an extra six hours or 360 minutes between now and Monday, February 26th. Write down on your log what you read and for how long until you reach that 360 minutes. Have your parents sign it and return it to your teacher. As long as you have it finished by February 26th, you'll win that free ticket. It's the Six Flags Read to Succeed program. Every student can win, so go read for that ticket. Hi, this is Renata from Miss Ravy's class. Here's a Disney history fact for today from Mr. Strout. On December 11th, on this day in Disney history. On this day in 2009. The Princess and the Frog, produced by Walt Disney Animation Studios, is released in theaters. The story is loosely based on E.D. Baker's novel, The Frog Princess, and the Grimm Brothers, The Frog Prince. It's the 49th animated feature in the Walt Disney Animated Classics, and the first theatrically released 2D animated movie by Disney since 2004's Home on the Range. The Princess and the Frog features the voice of Tony Award-winning singer and actress Anika Noni Rose as Princess Tiana. I suppose you want a kiss. Bruno Campos as Prince Naveen. Kissing would be nice, yes. And Michael Leon Woolley as Lewis, the jazz trumpet-playing alligator whose only dream is to be a human and play jazz in New Orleans. Now, please join me in the pledge this morning. Please stand, salute, and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a momentous Monday, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. This is second grader Mustafa Boy. That was a lot of great information. Tune in tomorrow to hear more. Good morning. This is third grader Katie. Welcome to Mr. Stroud's morning message for today. Take it away, Mr. Stroud. Thanks, Katie. Good morning, COA students and staff. Today is Tuesday, December 12th, 2017. I'm Mr. Strau, and this is today's morning message. Nikki, someone's having a birthday. Oh, boy. Yes, we do have a couple of COA staff birthdays to celebrate. Today, Russian teacher Mrs. Golub and COA paraeducator Mr. Obed both celebrate. Happy birthday, everybody. Well, it's Tuesday again, and that means that we talk about our expected school-wide learning results, or ESLERS, that are posted in all the classrooms and all around the school. Here's fourth grader Elena to tell you all about them. Hi, I'm Elena from Miss Rayleigh Class to tell you all about our school ESLERS. At COA, the C stands for Creating a Collaborative and Cooperative Community. The O stands for Being an Outstanding Learner and Citizen. The A stands for Achieving Academic Excellence. Thanks, Elena. Mr. Tony and I will be talking more about these at our character education assemblies every month. And as Mr. Tony always says, You can, you will, succeed. Tonight, there's a GCC board meeting at the GCC offices on Loose Avenue starting at 4.45 p.m. All students and parents are welcome to attend. 
Hey, students, tell your parents that COA Elementary is now on Twitter. See highlights from all of our activities and get announcements of upcoming events right on your smartphone, laptop, or tablet. Just tell your parents to search for COA Elementary and follow us. Hi, this is Emma from Miss Cole's class. Here's a fun fact for today from Mr. Stroud. On December 12th, it's Poinsettia Day. These beautiful red flowers are recognized as a symbol of Christmas. Poinsettia Day was pronounced as an act of Congress. It is in honor of it is in honor of Joel Roberts Poinsett, who died on December 12th, 1851. Poinsett was the first ambassador to Mexico who brought the plant back to his plantation in the United States. He grew the plants in his Greenville, South Carolina plantation and gave them out as gifts to friends at Christmas time. Now here's second grader Albert to lead you in the pledge this morning. Hello, this is Albert. Please join me in the pledge this morning. Please stand, salute, and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Have a truthful Tuesday, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. I don't have a skull. Or bones. Mr. Strauss podcast. Hey everyone, this is James Arnold Taylor, voice actor and voice of Obi Wan Kenobi for Star Wars: The Clone Wars. Fred Flintstone, but they would do Johnny Test, who is totally awesome, as well as Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Leonardo, and many, many more. And I am here to introduce the greatest podcast to ever be heard on the web. The one, the only, Mr. Strauss Podcast. Okay, Mr. Strauss, take it away. Aloha, COA students and staff. Today is Wednesday, December thirteenth, two thousand seventeen, and I'm Mr. Strauss, and this is today's morning message. Don't forget about this month's character traits of fitness and skill. Fitness means you take care of yourself, eat the right foods, exercise, and keep your mind and body in good shape. Skill means you practice something that you've learned and then become the best you possibly can be when you do it. Show your eagle pride and show your teachers that you know all about fitness and skill. Just like our heroes of the month, Olympic gold medalist Wilma Rudolph. And soccer champion Lionel Messi. They do everything they can to keep themselves in top physical shape to compete in their sports, and they practice the skills they've learned to become the best at their sports as they can be, which earn them their rewards and recognition. So show your teachers that you know all about fitness and skill all month long, and maybe you will be chosen as the next student of the month. The second trimester math quiz contest is underway. This is your second chance to win a Krispy Kreme donut party for your class at the end of the second trimester. There are now five brand new chances to win the math quiz trophy this trimester. If your class is the class that uses math quiz the most and has the most improvement points. You'll win the trophy for that round, and if your class is the one that wins that trophy more than any other class in your grade level, that's how you win the Krispy Kreme donut party. But remember, you only earn minutes and improvement points by using your math tutor lessons. The games don't count towards winning. And since this is the second trimester, there's a new challenge included to win the trophy. For second and third grades to win the trophy, your class has to have a minimum of 20 average usage minutes each week to be considered for winning. If there's not a minimum of 20 minutes of usage, no trophy will be awarded. Same thing goes to fourth through sixth grade. To win the trophy, your class has to have a minimum of 30 average usage minutes each week to be considered for winning the trophy. If there's not a minimum of 30 minutes, no trophy will be awarded. It's really easy to do too. If everyone in your class has just uses their mattress for 10 minutes each school day, you'll meet and even exceed the minimum requirement. The trophy are available to win every two weeks.
Good luck, everybody. The second trophy will be awarded on Friday, December 15th. Don't forget to tune into our school and family radio show, hosted by Mr. Ivan, every Thursday from 8 o'clock in the morning until 8.30 in the morning on 1430 AM to find out more about what's going on at our school. Now, please join third grader Anastasia in the pledge this morning. Hello, this is third grader Anastasia from Miss Yatrick's class. Please join me in the pledge this morning. Please stand, salute, and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a skillful Wednesday, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. This is second grader Eugene. You've been listening to Mr. Strauss' podcast. See you tomorrow. Good morning. This is fourth grader Max from Miss McBride's class. Welcome to Mr. Shout's morning message for today. Take it away, Mr. Shout. Thanks, Max. Hello, COA students and staff. It's another great day right here at COA. And we're so excited to see your smiling faces on this Thursday, December 14th, 2017. I'm Mr. Strau with your morning message. Today, there's a field trip for all fifth grade Russian honor students to the Community Center Theater to see a great performance. Hope you have a lot of fun. Also, don't forget that if you don't miss a single day of school all year long, you'll win that fun trip to John's Incredible Pizza from our friends at the Foothill Highlands Rotary Club and the Sacramento Republic Soccer Team. If you miss one day of school, you won't be able to come on the field trip. This is a special field trip for people who have 100% perfect attendance. So make sure you come to school every day and I'll take you on a fun adventure at the end of the school year. Now, please join 5th grader Aveline in the pledge this morning. Hi, my name is Aveline from Miss McCoyette's class. Please join me in the pledge this morning. Please stand, salute, and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a thoughtful Thursday, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. Mr. Strauss Podcast. Good morning. This is second grader Samuel. Welcome to Mr. Strauss' morning message for today. Take it away, Mr. Strauss. Thanks, Samuel. Greetings, COA students and staff. Hey, check this out. We've made it through another week of school to our minimum day Friday again. Yeah! Today is December 15th, 2017. I'm Mr. Strau, and this is today's morning message. Yahoo! Are you still one who completes all their homework, doesn't miss a single assignment? We still have a prize for you at the end of the trimester. If you don't miss one assignment during the second trimester, you'll get to watch a movie on our new giant screen in the GCC Theater during a school day. But if you miss one assignment, or one assignment is late, you'll lose that chance to attend the movie. So don't miss any assignments all trimester long, and you can be one of the people watching a movie on our new giant screen in the GCC Theater. Good luck, everybody. Now, please join fourth grader Melanie in the pledge this morning. Hi, my name is Melanie from Miss McBride's class. Please join me in the pledge this morning. Please stand, salute, and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberties and justice for all. Great job. Now, let's sing our school song.
have a friendly Friday and have a relaxing and fun weekend. And we'll see you back here on Monday for school week number 18, which is the final school week of 2017. Can you believe it? 2017 is almost over. This is second grade Eric. Thanks for listening to Mr. Stow's morning message. Have a great weekend.